What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Friend and welcome back to another Call of Duty Warzone video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Hunt for Atler event that's going on right now in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War as well as Warzone. Now, in this event, you actually have to complete three missions and you can unlock yourself an exclusive Atler skin. Let's take a look at the skin because I do actually have it unlocked already. So let's jump in. And as you can see, you get your boy Atler from where he got kidnapped or whatever and injected. And he does look roughed up in a wife beater, hair fucked up. He has the bandages all over his head and cuts and bruises all over his body. I think it's a cool skin. Um, Obviously, with what's going on in the story mode, it's actually pretty fire that they actually added a version of Atler like this. So we can actually retrieve him and you know bring him back to uh, to the team especially what was going on with him getting captured last season so it's pretty cool and again this is a clean skin it doesn't have too much like baggage and stuff on his back and stuff like that so again it is going to be a skin to you know run around or dance with and not be as bulky as a lot of other guys skin granted it is a white beater that he got on so you you are going to be visible it's not like he's dressed up in all black but again it is pretty cool and the fact that it's exclusive to this event it's going to be very rare after this event is over now this event is over in five days i knocked out these challenges pretty quickly inside of black ops cold war the cold war challenges are three challenges that you have to do and if you do them in cold war you unlock the skin as well as the three challenges you do in Warzone unlocks the skin as well. So you don't have to do either or. Unlocking the skin in one of the games unlocks them for both. And I will show you guys that in a second. However, the Black Ops Cold War challenges are actually pretty easy to do. One of them, you have to just play in one of the brand new maps. I forget what it's called. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. But you actually have to play in that brand new map seven times. And they have a 24-hour playlist. The map is very fun and small combat map to play in anyway so i would recommend just jumping into that match and while you're there just knock out these other two missions which is again kill 25 enemies who have been revealed by spy plane harp or field mic and then again kill 25 enemies on a kill streak while using the assassination perk stuff that's very easy and doable to do again within seven games you should be fine and knock that out the war zone stuff on the other hand is actually kind of challenging because as of right now a lot of people are trying to complete this stuff in game and trying to do it via war zone so a lot of people are landing on these quote-unquote scavenger missions because that's what they basically are for the hunt for atler they have like a little atler i icon inside of Verdance when you drop into these areas like Summit, Factory, and Farms. However, while there are a few of them, once they get snatched up, they're actually gone and they don't really actually respawn unless the, the circle is in those areas. And when sometimes they don't even respawn. So it puts you in a situation where you feel like you're, you know, you're waiting around for it to pop up and it doesn't pop up or it does pop up, but it's in an area that you already have gotten. I have seen a ton of times I'm dropping in Verdance and the factory intel is there but the intel for summit or farms are nowhere to be found or they are there at the start of the match but obviously they get scooped up by either other teams that land there first or we in the middle of the mission and we die and then in the gulag and then time's up or whatever the case may be so to me i i think the best way to do it again is through black ops cold war however i understand if you don't have the game or don't have the full game unlocked then that might be an issue to you. But what if I told you that right now, on PlayStation at least, you can play Black Ops Cold War, Zombies, and Multiplayer right now for free. So you can download the multiplayer version and knock out this Hunt for Atler mission to unlock Atler the skin, at least this variant of it, inside of Warzone and in Cold War. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to jump over to Warzone so we can take a look at the Atler skin inside of there. So as you can see right here, it says Black Ops free access play zombies and multiplayer so you can jump in and do the hunt for atler mission the hunt for atler mission again it's over in four days seven hours and 44 minutes on the time of me recording if i go into operators and i go to black ops where is atler atler is right here and i should be able to check out the tortured and rescued version of him right here how do you there we go and there we go you can see that i have him right here even without doing the challenges in warzone so again the quickest way 
to me anyway, and the easiest way is actually doing it through Black Ops Cold War. But obviously to, to each his own, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of this skin as well as the best way to actually unlock this skin. If you don't know, I answer all comments. So again, we will be having that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Call of Duty, Fortnite, Warzone, Pokemon, Mario, whatever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos. As well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, TikTok or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.